Welcome back to another video here on the channel, guys. Um, hope you're all doing well out there. Um, on this video, or in this video, sorry, I was just say, I'll be showing you footage that I captured last Sunday when I went to just outside the, or around the Antrim coast to a music festival which was on for two days. I only managed to make it to the Sunday one. Um, it was called Camp Dalfest, I think it was the name of it, if I remember. It was a big music festival, had loads of artists over the past lot of years. Um, including one of the Spice Girls, we had Scouting for Girls, um, we had Nick Kershaw from the 1980s, we had a local band who I've been following for quite a while actually, uh, Dal Matron, they're our, uh, an awesome band guys, um, been wanting to see them for a long time and I finally got to see them. Um, on the Saturday we had a lot of uh, artists as well, we also had a comedian, a uh, local comedian who's quite, quite well known, who was just off tour there with Kevin Hart, the uh, big uh, movie star and comedian, uh, we had Shane Todd, that was by the way, um, he was there performing for a little bit too as well on the Sunday, which managed to capture a bit of footage of him. So it was a good day. Um, before going any further, I just want to say thank you to my friend Jennifer for inviting me along. Um, Jennifer is the mum of fellow YouTuber Scott Vance, who's a local YouTuber as well. You want to go and check out his channel. Um, he does a lot of different uh, types of videos. I've uh, been following Scott for quite a bit. Uh, Tony even follows him too as well. Um, but I went down there with Scott's mum last Sunday. She kindly invited me along and it was a great day. We had a fantastic day. The weather was lovely. It was nice and warm. We had a great view of the stage. Um, but the thing about it was though, it wasn't like a proper like big concert. It was amazing. Um, I'll show you some of the, I'll show you in a couple of minutes here in the footage. Um, they had a few little different type fields where they had smaller stages and then they had a big main stage for all the main acts. Also they had like a fun fair thing for children. It was all family oriented. There was a campsite. There was all these different things that were going on um, on the day, and I, I really opened my eyes. Um, I didn't even know this existed until I was I was invited along. Um, but it was a really good day. People have been camping there all weekend, and it was just an unbelievable experience. And it was a great day, and the music was fantastic. And the best thing about it was the acts that we wanted to see. It's all everybody was all spaced out around the field. There's thousands of people there, but they all had like their own chairs and stuff. So if you wanted to go up and see your favorite act, you just walk to the main stage or whatever stage you go to. Um, the one actor didn't get to go and see her up, the, up close at the end was, was Scouting for Girls. They've been around for quite a long time then, a band, and they're very, very good. Um, I ended up, it just was a long day and I was tired. I just ended up sitting at the very back and watching them. But I got to see the band, the girl band I wanted to see, and Nick Kershaw, we got to see him up close too as well, and Shane Todd, the comedian, and more. So it was an overall fantastic day, and it was really, really good, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So it, it was such an eye-opening experience, and definitely be back next year, no doubt about it. And everybody who came up to me, <laughs> I was st I was stopped a few times. Um, literally, as we arrived there, I was stopped twice. Well, I was actually getting into my friend's car, and a girl recognised me. And then when I got up into the place, I got recognised. Um, people from the Belfast Giants, who I know all the time. I was stopped a couple of times throughout the day and stuff, just saying hello and whatever. So overall, it was a great day, and I hope you enjoy the footage that I captured, guys. Some of it I have to put music over, obviously for copyright reasons. But overall, it was an amazing experience. Um, yeah, I, I, it's a, a day I'll never forget. So enjoy the footage, guys. Once again, thanks to my friend Jennifer for inviting me along. I really do appreciate it. Um, don't forget to check out our son's channel, Scott Fans. He's a really, he's a, a YouTuber as well, and he's a really, really good kid. So he is, and he's doing quite good things with his channel. Um, so yeah, right, but anyway, guys, want to go here and so enjoy the footage. I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. Yeah. This place is huge. This is not even the half of it. My God.
science. Do you know, people were like, what's the science behind that? And I, Belfast, I don't know a lot about science. Um, in, say, uh, in saying that, I'm a, I'm a double award holder. Um, which sounds pretty good anywhere else in the world. Do you do science? Yeah, double award. Uh, didn't do chemistry. But, but nobody understood the science behind it. Everyone was asking, like the chief medical officer, you know, how come we're not allowed to dance? Why is dancing illegal? And even he didn't know. We literally blamed it on the boogie. And I don't know if anybody went to jail for dancing during COVID. You know, I don't know if anybody's dad did a night in Macabre. First night in there, he's in the bottom bunk. Your dad in the bottom bunk of Macabre as soon as the lights go out. Guy above him goes, I killed five people, mate. That's why I'm in here. What about you? Your dad's there in his wee Macabre pajamas. Just... I did the Macarena, mate. And even like, they went after the students as well. They wouldn't let them dance. I thought that was sly. Especially with the dancing they do. The first Paddy's Day after COVID, wouldn't let them dance. I think that's sly. I think in 30, 40 years, students nowadays will be talking to their grandkids. And they'll go, Grand, are you ever in trouble with the police? Oh, why? Oh, we, we, we time called COVID. Grand, are you in jail? Oh, why? Grand, was it terrible? It was terrible. Why didn't you complain? Well, the last thing I wanted to do was rock the boat. Is there one Northern Irish deli? Imagine going through, like, you know, Venice, seeing all the way authentic pizza places, you know, they're cooking all the dough, big Italian guys with moustaches, and then just seeing one chippy with a guy from Italy. But whenever he gets to our local products, he's doing the voice right. Because this guy was walking about, and he's like, guys, go over there and, uh, and get the fuck at you. I would love it if there was just one guy from Italy who set up a Northern Irish deli in Italy and you walked in and he's talking to the staff and he's like guys so we're soon going to open for lunch yeah, do me a favour and make sure I can get them saucy roll pops out from the back there yo get that red sauce out we've customers coming in here come on let's go you header and oh, mamma mia it's a 5 euro guys you've been unreal thank you so much for having me Belfast appreciate it Lovely crowd, give it up for William Thompson. enjoyed the footage guys it was a really good day um overall it was just a fantastic uh experience to be there and i'll definitely be back next year no doubt about it but anyway guys i want to go here now so if you enjoyed this video where i attended the camp dal fest i think it's if I pronounced that right camp dal fest music festival and is it glen arm i just try to remember where it was at the start of the vlog glen arm which is on the Antrim coast if you enjoyed this video Drop a like on it. Also, if you're new to the channel here on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe below. And until the next one, guys, I will see you all soon in the next one. Stay tuned, guys, because we got more videos coming out. I like I said the other day, uh, we special video that I made in Fleetwood when I was in England last week, so stay tuned for that video coming out. I uh, don't know whether it'll be the next one or the one after, but stay tuned anyway. Until the next one, guys, see you all soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>